80% of all jobs are obtained through networking. Only 20% are through traditional job interview. When you get a customer lead from paid advertisement, the conversion rate is 1 out of 25 customers that call in. When it is through referral, your conversion rate is 2 out of 3. That is the power of networking. Never eat alone and other secrets to success, one relationship at a time by Keith Ferrazzi. It is no secret that networking is one of the most powerful things in life. Here are three big ideas from this book that will help you understand how to build the network properly. Number one, relationships get stronger the more you use them. Relationships are like muscles. You have to use it properly in order to grow it. Most people have the misconception that if you do someone a favor, they owe you that favor and you can only use that favor once. In actuality, when you ask for help, you're giving the other person an opportunity to strengthen your relationship. When I was growing up, I always did what I can to help others, but never asked for help in return. The idea behind it was that inconveniencing others would ruin my relationship with them. On the other hand, my friend Peter, who I grew up with, is a successful networker. Different from me, he was always eager to offer help to his friends, but never hesitated to ask for help in return. Over time, I grew distant from my friends. Meanwhile, my friend Peter has built a successful network. Whether I needed airline tickets, a reservation at a restaurant, getting discounts with shoes, or buying tickets for a show, my friend Peter has the connection. He never hesitates to offer to help. I later realized by not asking for help in return, I am actually creating distance between people. They either feel that I do not trust them enough or they are not capable of helping me. The truth is if I were to ask for help, they would be more than willing to help me in return. Our relationship would have also improved as a whole. Remember, relationships are like muscles. The more you use them, the stronger it gets. You also cannot overwork it or rush it. Just like muscles, it takes time to grow. If you're going to help someone, don't keep score. 2. Start a network long before you need it. You have to build your network long before you need it. Having 2,000 friends on Facebook doesn't mean anything if you never even talk to 99% of the people on your friends list. A lot of people in business also think by handing out business cards to people and asking them for their business is called networking. If that were the case, then I would be a billionaire. Networking requires quality time spent with people. You have to have meaningful conversations. You have to get to know the other person well. In my business, every professional, including lawyer, mortgage broker, inspector, contractor, and other brokers think by handing out their business card or offering a discount service, they will get the job. Everyone is doing that. The main question is, what have you done for the client? What did you do to earn their trust? What value have you provided? Majority of my business takes six months to two years to come to fruition. That is because it takes that long to establish a relationship. I have to constantly follow up to keep the community informed about the market and show that I actually care for them. Most professionals substitute that with flyers and postcards in the mail. They then try to show up when the client is ready to use their service. Who would you go to for help? Someone who you have a relationship with or someone who you don't know anything about but has his or her business card. 3. The Art of Small Talk Have value to offer in a conversation. You can't build an empire in one day. Everything starts with taking small steps. Every encounter is an opportunity to make an impression. I know a lot of people who follow the business efficiency model where you shouldn't waste time with anyone unless it is about business. Most people wouldn't tolerate that type of attitude. You should always find ways to help the other person become successful. It took me one year to set an impression on my client Peter, who is also my unofficial mentor. He has probably seen all kinds of people in his life. His guard is high and he will not tolerate nonsense. Every time I met with him, I came up with ways to provide value. I offered to appraise his house for him, 
give them an update on the market and give them tips if there were a fixer upper available. When he saw that I was reliable, he asked me to help him find a tax attorney. The attorney in my office happens to provide that service. The attorney gave me the advice and I passed it along to Peter. As a result, my relationship with both the attorney and Peter grew stronger. One tip from Peter earned me $200,000 for an investment. One conversation with Peter also saved me $750,000 on an investment loss. My father-in-law is one of the best networker I know. He has an established network of 500 people where he can reach out to any time to ask for help. His secret is he wholeheartedly tries to help all the people in his life with what he can. Sometimes it's just as simple as taking the time to link two people together. He moved to a new insurance sales position two years back. He has since become the top producer of United Healthcare, New York, beating his quota every week by 100%. He makes $250,000 per year, which is impressive considering the fact that he hardly speaks English and never went to college. All of this was possible due to referrals from the people within this network. He doesn't belong to any clubs, organizations, or go to church. His network was built one by one from years of helping people. Build your network today and never have to eat alone again. Remember that every encounter with another person is an opportunity to set an impression. The impression doesn't require much effort, but it will pay you an everlasting dividend in the future. Here is the final takeaway. If you want to go somewhere fast, go alone. If you want to go somewhere far, go together. Thank you for watching this video. Please share and subscribe for more videos.